Hi everyone, hope you're all well. If you are a regular follower of mine, you will know that I haven't been on YouTube for quite some time now. I've actually been away on holiday in America for about five weeks with my partner and I had an amazing time, but I'm back now, so that means back into making YouTube videos. And for today, I have created this Valentine's Day inspired look for you. So please enjoy. So first things first, I'm going to prime my skin and for this I'm using the MAC Natural Radiance Primer and I believe this is the yellow base one. It's just going to really brighten the skin and make me look nice and glowy. So for foundation today I'm using the Tarte Amazonian Clay Foundation and I really like this one. It's quite full coverage but it really evens out my skin nicely and as you can see it just covers a few blemishes and it's really long wearing. So I'm just buffing that into the skin until I'm really happy with the finish. And today I'm using the Bobbi Brown Full Coverage Foundation Brush. So to conceal and highlight my face today, I'm using a number of my favourite products. But under my eyes, I'm using a combination of the MAC Pro Longwear Concealer and the NARS Creamy Radiant Concealer. And I'm just buffing that into the skin with the Real Techniques Contour Brush. This isn't a step that I would always do, but for special occasions, this is something that I include in my makeup routine. I'm just highlighting the high points of my face with the MAC Prep and Prime Highlighting Pen, and this is in the shade Light Boost. It will make you look like a little bit of a crazy sort of tribal face paint action going on, but the effects are really awesome. Now to make sure the concealer under my eyes doesn't crease, I'm going to set it in place with the banana shade from the Anastasia Beverly Hills Contour Kit. And for this I'm just using the Bobbi Brown Blush Brush. To set the rest of my foundation I'm going to use the MAC Studio Fix Powder in the shade NC20 and just tap that all over the skin. I really like doing this as it just makes my foundation last a lot longer and just keeps shine at bay throughout the day. To warm up the skin and slightly contour, I'm taking the same MAC Studio Finish, sorry, Studio Fix Powder and this one is just a couple of shades darker and as you can see it's just giving my cheekbones a little bit of shape and some warmth to my face. I'm just taking this below the cheekbones, around the hairline and also the jawline. Now for my favourite part of any makeup look is to highlight the skin and for this today I chose the Bobbi Brown Shimmer Brick in the shade Nectar and I'm using a Bobbi Brown Sheer Powder Brush and just applying that to all the high points of my face. And now for some colour on the cheeks I chose the Perfect Pink from Tarte and this one is called Blissful and I just applied that to the apples of the cheeks and blended it backwards and I'm using a NARS Sort of like it. This is one of their contour brushes, but I really like it for blush. And over top of that, I just decided to apply the Milani Baked Blush in the shade Dulcy Pink, just because it has a little bit of shimmer running through it. Recently, I've been really loving the Anastasia Beverly Hills Dip Brow Pomade in the shade Soft Brown. And here I'm just combing through the brow hairs and just softly filling them in. <laughs> This is another new product I've been trying out lately and I've really been enjoying it. It's the L'Oreal Paris Brow Artist Plumper in the shade Brunette and this is actually available in New Zealand for about $21.99 I believe. And if you've been meaning to try the Benefit Gimme Brow, I would give this one a go instead. The brush is exactly the same and it has the exact same finish and effect. Even if you're someone who doesn't normally fill in their eyebrows, an eyebrow gel is a great introduction to grooming your brows into place. It just has a slight tint and gives them a really nice natural finish. For the longest time now I've been eyeing up the Lorac Unzipped Palette and I finally got my hands on it on my holiday so I've really been enjoying using this. The colours are just gorgeous. So starting out I'm using the palest shade in the palette and sweeping that all over the lid and this is just going to help blend the darker shades that we're going to put over top of this. 
So the next step, I just took the shades Unconditional and Unspoken and just softly diffused that through the crease for a nice bit of definition on the eyes. To build up the intensity of the look, I'm taking the colours Unspoken and Untamed, this time on a more tapered, defined sort of blending brush. It's just a little bit more precise and I'm blending that through the outer V of the eye. As you can see, my poor makeup brush got a little bit squashed and battered on my travel. And now for the main event of the eyes, I'm using this ColourPop Cosmetics eyeshadow in the shade Sequin and I'm just packing that all over the eyelids with a flat shader brush until it looks quite intense and sparkly. Applying eyeshadow like this I think is the perfect way to wear glitter but without looking too over the top. If you're looking for new eyeshadows but don't want to spend too much, Colourpop Cosmetics eyeshadows are only $5 each and they've recently just started shipping to Australia and New Zealand which is so great. I will list their website down below in case you want to check it out. Here I'm just taking the darker shade in the palette called Untamed and I'm just sweeping that through the crease just for some added extra definition. For any romantic eye look, I always like to bust out my pigment called Tan from MAC and I applied this wet to the lower lash line just to really intensify the colour and I blended it down quite low. Here I'm just taking the dark burgundy shade and applying it directly to the lash line just to give my eyes a little bit more definition and this is going to connect up the look. To give this look a more of a smoky eye feel, I'm taking a dark brown cold pencil and tight lining my top and lower lash line and then I'm applying the pencil directly to a pencil brush and smoking out the lower lash line. To highlight the inner corners of my eyes and my brow bone, I'm taking the lightest shade from my Bobbi Brown Shimmer Brick and just applying that directly to the inner corners of my eyes and underneath my brow bone. Another new product I've been wanting to try for quite some time is the L'Oreal Miss Manga Voluminous Mascara. Now this one is just awesome, I've really been enjoying it, it's quite lengthening and thickening at the same time and it has just launched in New Zealand. For lips today I wanted to stick to something quite nude so I chose the Australis Velour Lips Matte Lip Cream in the shade Perry. And I thought this was great because it dries down completely matte and is totally kissable. Because I'm going to be adding lashes to this look, I wanted to add a little bit of liquid liner to hide the lash band. So for this I'm using the Kat Von D liquid liner in the shade Trooper. So as you can see I just went and applied some false lashes off camera and that pretty much finishes off the look. I hope you guys enjoyed watching this, I really enjoyed making it and I've actually really missed YouTube but it's good to be back and back into the routine. So if you have any suggestions for my next video then please comment below and I shall see you next time. Let's eat.